Hi, Doug Stum with IT Creations. Today we'll be reviewing Dell's powerful 14th generation PowerEdge T440 tower server. This is the successor to the powerful and practical T430 tower server and represents a significant increase in performance, throughput, and storage. Let's begin. How does this system compare to the previous version? Well, to start with, it can support either one or two of Intel's new Xeon scalable processors with up to 14 cores to deliver overall performance improvements. And remember, with the new scalable processors, you can choose from bronze, silver, gold, or platinum. This is an entry-level system designed for small businesses or remote and branch office deployments that might not have the space or need for a full server room. With the excellent acoustical performance, this system can very easily be positioned in the front office, and when the business or remote office outgrows the current space, the system can be rack-mounted, extending its shelf life in the process. By the way, IT Creations has this system in stock, and for a limited time, you can save up to $250 off the purchase price on systems valued at $2,500 or more, just by mentioning this video. Sound good? Just click that pop-up there in the corner to see pricing on this system, and now, back to the review. Depending on your need for capacity or performance, you can choose from either four or eight bays supporting 3.5 inch drives for up to 80 terabytes, or a 2.5 inch drive version, which supports up to 16 2.5 inch drives for up to 61 terabytes of storage. In addition to the storage bays, you can also opt for boot optimized storage cards, aka BOSS, which is either a single or dual M.2 storage device supporting either 120 gigabytes or 240 gigabytes with hardware RAID for redundancy, a V flash card, or an optional internal USB memory key. Dell has also updated the HD RAID controllers for the new Gen 14 servers with an integrated S140 RAID controller and support for more PCIe internal PERC controllers. If you're close to capacity with storage on the system and performance is taking a hit, you can always install the new and improved PERC H840 external RAID controller offering 12 gigabit per second data transfer speeds and 8 gigabyte non-volatile cache memory, ideal for external storage enclosures running SAS SSDs. The chassis we have here is a basic 8-bay 3.5-inch disk version configuration with a single Intel scalable 3104 bronze processor with six cores, one eight gigabyte memory module, a one terabyte SATA hard drive, the H330 internal HD RAID controller, and a 495 watt power supply. With this configuration, the installed memory module, which is capable of transfer speeds of up to 2666 megahertz, will only operate at 2133 megahertz because the memory speed is limited by the processor. When outfitted with dual processors and a full complement of memory, the system has 33% more capacity for data in-memory applications with 16 memory module slots. That's four more memory slots compared to the T430, which only supported 12 memory modules. The T440 has a memory capacity of 512 gigabytes using registered memory modules, or up to one terabyte using 64 gigabyte load-reduced DIMM modules. With scalable processors, compatible memory modules, and the right memory configuration, memory speeds of up to 2666 megahertz are supported. The previous generation T430 outfitted with a Xeon E5 2600 V4 processor is capable of up to 2400 megahertz. With a single processor, there are 10 active memory slots. The other six memory slots are activated with the addition of the second processor. Five PCIe 3.0 expansion slots allow you to scale as your requirements change, with the addition of NICs, HBAs, GPUs, fiber channel, and as already mentioned, that kick and new PERC H840 external storage card for direct attached storage options. Two network interface controllers on the back panel provide one gigabit ethernet, but you can always add more bandwidth using one or more of the PCIe slots with network interface cards that will provide 10 gigabit communications. A single NVS310 general purpose GPU from NVIDIA is also supported. There are USB ports front and back for connecting external devices, and there's a standard old school VGA port on the back of the system to connect a VGA display. An integrated Matrox G200 ER22 offers 12 megabyte capacity and supports monitor resolutions of up to 1440 by 900 pixels. The system is powered by either a single or dual redundant 1100 watt, 750 watt, or 495 watt PSU. A proprietary slot on the motherboard is for a dual micro SD and V-Flash card combo module that supports three micro SD cards. Two of the SD cards are for supporting a hypervisor in fail-safe redundant mode, or they can be used for additional storage. The third SD card is for the V-Flash, which is part of the Dell Lifecycle controller and requires an iDRAC Enterprise license to enable. V-Flash can also be shared both in-band and out-of-band. Administrators typically use V-Flash as storage space to back up and restore system configurations or it can also be partitioned to hold up to 16 4 gigabyte V-Flash partitions or disk images for bare metal configurations. The best part for the administrator is that all of these functions can be applied remotely with an enterprise license, which will cost a bit extra. An optional internal USB memory key with a boot image can also be used to boot the system by specifying the USB memory key in system setup. This system is designed for ease of management with Dell's proprietary set of maintenance tools including iDRAC with lifecycle controller and OpenManage. 
The system comes with iDRAC 9.0 BASIC, but can be upgraded to Express or Enterprise with the purchase of a license key, enabling more functionality. And for some of our subscribers who are always asking how loud the system is, do you hear that? Well, maybe a little bit, but this system is on and running. It gets a little louder under load, but not by much. Well, that's it for our review of Dell's PowerEdge T440 Tower Server. This system is a great addition to our remote branch office and can easily handle standard business applications and light virtualization. We hope you enjoyed our short review of the T440. And if you have any unanswered questions, just post a comment in the section below. Yes, we do actually answer your questions. Give us a thumbs up if you liked our review and subscribe to our channel to get notifications when we release a new video. I'm Doug Stewart with IT Creations, and thanks for watching.